Hey everyone, and welcome to my first video in the VR editor. Today I'm going to show you some of the basics that I've learned over the last 20 to 30 minutes of messing around with this. I want to show you guys this because I think this editor is really cool, and I can't believe that they've already come this far in terms of being able to develop levels in VR. I saw a prototype years ago and it was pretty basic. And this is amazing. So let me show you guys what this is all about. So first of all, uh, what you see me actually doing is here, if I press these two together, these two buttons, these triggers in here, I can scale the level. So I can make it at a scale of one, which is the, the actor in the world. This would be my scale. And this is the scale of the objects that I would see. However, you'll notice in order to move, I have to pull myself and it's kind of slow. I can't move very quickly. It's not very effective for level design. So if I press these in together and just quickly move it inwards and get a larger scale, I can easily zoom around the level. And all I'm doing is I'm holding this button and I'm just dragging left and right up and down, which is really cool. I can also just pull myself forward and back. And I can also rotate the level, which is really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a little diorama and show you guys the tools if you're interested. So first thing I want to do is I want to get a base. So I want to get some type of building here. So I'm going to press this. I'm not going to press this. I'm going to move it in a direction. I'm just highlighting which button this is for you. So I'm just going to move it in a direction and this wheel will pop up. This wheel has a lot of cool things. The first few things we need is this is going to have everything that we usually have in the editor. So we need to go to Windows and then Content Browser because the content browser has everything that we require. I'm then just going to drag this over here. Uh, actually, I'm going to drag this over here so I can just look and grab things. Um, we're going to go into the Polygon Knights, which is an asset package that was on sale, which I got for this video. We're then going to go into Meshes. And if we go into Environments, we've got all this environmental stuff. Uh, we've got buildings and characters. So we're just going to go into Buildings. And with this button here, what I can do is I can actually drag down and have a look at what assets we have available. So we're going to build a really simple little church and then add some uh, environmental assets around it, such as trees and grass. So what I'm going to do first is grab one of these. So let's go for this room. So I'll just click and drag it into the scene, just like that. And now I can maneuver it where I want using these, the transform handles. And if I if I want to do anything else, like rotate it, what I can do is I can move this wheel here, go back, I can go into my gizmos, and I have access to all these things, so I can rotate it, translate it, scale it, all that stuff. We're going to stick to uh, translate for the time being. And as I mentioned, I can just move it on these axes that are here. So what I'm going to bring in next is I want to build up, as I've used this asset before, so what I'm going to do is build upwards, and what I'm going to grab is the church base. Here it is, the base. So I'm going to grab the base, drag it in, and just bring myself forward a bit so I can see it a lot easier. I'm going to drag this into the center, and then drag this up. Oh, and by the way, I'm using my Oculus Rift microphone. So until I figure out a better system, I'm currently going to be using the Oculus Rift microphone whilst I do these VR videos. If you're wondering why my voice might sound a little bit different. The next thing I'm going to do is bring in this church. So just drag it in. And once again, rotate, scale it. It feels so natural to use this. Like I feel like anyone, even if you've never used an engine before, you could just pick these up and have a really good time just making little levels. I mean, it's it's like Lego in real life. You, oh, I want to move it, I just move it here. I mean, I know there's still a few gizmos and a few technical things to learn in terms of the input with the motion controllers, but it just feels so natural to use. I'm just going to double check. So if I go into here, I can actually go to snapping and I can just make sure that it is snapping. So just go back to snapping. Awesome. And I just need to bring that down. So I'm not going to make it too perfect just because I want to show you guys a few other things. So we've got that. So now I've got this, this base going on here. Um, I can add a few more details. 
So let's grab, I think I saw it before. There was a extension. So there it is, extension. I click and drag this in. And you'll notice they've deleted the faces at the back because they're not required. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring this down. I'm actually going to move this island because it was a bit too far on the right. I'm just going to move it forward a bit there. I'm going to grab this asset and drag it to here. Then I'm going to go back into my wheel, go back, go to gizmos, and then just rotate this. So rotating it works as you imagine. I'm just clicking and dragging it. So if I want to go any way I want. So I'll just get somewhere like that. Oops. There we go. And then I can just translate that into place. And then what I can do next is I can add in a door. So I think I saw it earlier. Uh, scroll up. Door. There it is. So just put this around here. Uh, yeah, that looks good. So drag this down. Cross. And I should be able to just rotate this into place. So we'll see. Translate. Now it's a bit it's not big enough, so I'm just going to scale this. I'm just going to cheat a bit. I know the asset's probably not designed to do this, but it's just for a quick video. No one's going to care too much. Uh, scale it out one more. It should be fine. And then bring it back. Awesome! It actually looks pretty good. Just bring it across. Sweet! So. Once again, now you'll see if I scale this to full, I can kind of get a feeling of what it's like to, to, be, to be here now. So I can just drag myself down and have a look around. And now I can add in some additional assets. So I'm going to go back into the windows. Then I'm going to go back into my modes panel and drag this over here. And the reason why I'm here, of course, is for this landscape. Uh, oops. Oh, I had some foliage here before. Okay, so we are back. And I just quickly added in some... Just drag this down here. So I just quickly added in some foliage here. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is paint some of this in. So this is my current paintbrush size. If I want, I can click in here and kind of modify it. You can also modify the density. So if I have a brush size of that size, I can just begin painting in some grass. And if I bring the scale like this, I can just have it really easy to paint. So I can just go ahead and rotate it and move around it really quickly. And now I can just get rid of that, go to the flowers. I might make it a little bit smaller. Oops, still getting used to this. And just chuck in a few here and there. And as you can see, it's quite easy to just add a bunch of landscape, especially with landscape, because you're just painting with the VR controls. It's very easy. Uh, I'm just going to add in some of these. I'm going to make this single instance mode. So let's see, so there's one there. And let's get one around here somewhere. There we go. So yeah, now I'm building this world up. And I'm done with this panel, so I'm just gonna back, go back to that and close that off and bring this back in here. So back to my Polygon Knights, uh, Meshes, and now I can add in any additional details that I'd like. So I believe I saw something really cool before when I was scrolling through here. Water, grass, corner tile.
for some reason oh there it is awesome yes clouds so now we can add some clouds in i thought i saw these before so back to my wheel and i can easily go to my edit and just duplicate it drag it around and what i'll do afterwards is i'll i'll make them a bit more interesting in terms of their rotation if i if i need to whoops i might just stick to using these then uh, I may have mentioned this before, I may not have. These are still experimental tools, very early in development. And I'm shocked that they've come so far already. It's really awesome. I mean, I'm already, I've made a small level. I can go ahead and play test this. It's great. Uh, anything else I'd like to add to this? Let's see. So we've got bridges, canals, and a bunch of other assets. So I'm quite happy with this. I'm just going to close that. And that's it. This is level editing in VR. It's so simple to do. And if I wanted to as well, I might just show you this really quickly. I can go into my tools. And you see play here. I can actually play it. I can get a nice screenshot. So if I want a picture for the thumbnail, I can just hide this. Uh, try and screenshot this. So hopefully that worked. There we go. That should be the thumbnail for this video, hopefully. And if I go to play, it should set me in the world. So I accidentally put my actor out there. But yeah, here I am. So I'll just ignore this cage. I haven't set up my guardian uh, system properly. But uh, yeah, I'm here in the world. If I had things interactable, I could interact with them. I can teleport around and see what my level's like. Uh, and the, the amazing thing is I'm in my VR headset the whole time. So if there's something I don't like, I can just go back and edit that. So say I, I like, oh, these flowers are actually blocking my way to there because they have collision on them. Oh, wait, my flowers have collision on them. I should really get rid of that. Like, just so many cool things you can go around and change. Someone, you might make this and play test it and people might go, oh, I really wish you had a bit more room to move around. So I'll just exit this and you go, oh, okay, yeah, I can fix that. I'll just scale this platform. So yeah, this is level editing in VR. I really like it. And one other thing I actually forgot to show you guys, you might be wondering, uh, this content browser. And if I go back to my modes, you can of course add in lighting and all that. So you can actually, light your level whilst in VR and I'll do all your visual effects and stuff like that. So yeah, this is level editing in VR. Hope you guys like this little preview. In a future video, I plan on actually, uh, after I spend a little bit more time with it, I'm going to try and do a speed level design in VR and see how that goes. So that should be really interesting. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video.